Adam Copeland is injured. He took a pretty bad dive off of the steel cage. Looked like he hurt his leg on the way down, and he has confirmed this on uh, Twitter today. Here's what he had to say. Hey, everybody. Um, oh, Lord. I, there's no filters that can help this thing. I look like a bag of hammered peaches or something. Uh, anyway, double or nothing. Flew back yesterday. Uh, Malachi Black. Dude is a... Uh, dude's an animal. <laughs> All of the house black. They're just um, really 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 damn good um and as you're about to find out in this video i guess the house always does win because i gained two new friends i don't i don't really like them they're kind of like those buddies that uh, just annoy you but they're always there i don't know maybe, maybe i'm a brody and buddy or something i don't know anyway um yeah uh i've been feeling really good lately um been having so much fun in the ring and I got cocky I guess is, is what it really boils down to and I'm probably a narcissist and an egomaniac and I'll un unpack that one day um, but yeah I uh, you know my, my brain forgets what my body always seems to remember um, a little late is, is that uh, I'm 50 and I need to make better choices so my body pulled the emergency brake on me the other night and, and I ended up fracturing my tibia, um, which is going to require surgery. Don't know the time frame on that um, yet. Uh, Ruby's birthday is Friday and I, I really want to enjoy that and, and focus on all the positives that I have in my life because there's way more that than the bad and, and even this surgery. I know, I know what I got to do. Um, I'll find out the time frame kind of next week and everything. Uh, yeah, sorry, don't really know what I'm going to say, um, and I'm still half asleep, <laughs> but, uh, so pardon me, parents and all that good stuff. Anyway, uh, I will see you soon-ish, and, uh, in the meantime, everybody good, try and be happy. All right, see ya. That was Adam Copeland talking about the injury he suffered at Double or Nothing. He confirmed that it was a broken, or sorry, excuse me, a fractured tibia, which is on the leg. And horrible news. Current TNT champion can yeah. likely be out for months. Uh, I, I mean, the first question, obviously, on everyone's mind is hopefully, or the first thing I think everyone, on everyone's mind is hopefully Adam Copeland's okay. But, I mean, going to the wrestling part of this, Trevor, like, he's going to have to give up the world title or the TNT title, right? Yeah, uh, unfortunately. And it's a shame because his run is absolutely immaculate right now. It it started off a little little wonky um cuz he fought, he, he tr uh tried for it so many times. A lot of people didn't a lot of people got you know tired of seeing him going against Christian Ford. So and I understand, but it, it's one of those things where I guess uh repetitiveness helped because once you know, once he got the belt, he he ran, he's been running rough shot over that that whole little division, the what you want to call it. He's been doing a great job, and uh, this is probably the best I've seen Edge in a long time, honestly. And that's not taken away from his his monumental uh, monumentous uh, WrestleMania match against Roman Reigns and Brian Danielson, or his run with, with WWE. But honestly, I, I think this is the best I've seen on Copeland in a long time. A fifty year old should not move like that. <laughs> I'm I'm ten years ten years his junior, and I I can't move that way. <laughs> but yeah, um, it, it is a, it is sad. It is very sad to see. Yeah, it, it's horrible to see, especially when you consider like that steel cage match was one of the best things on the show uh, this past. It week. was. It was, and and that's saying a lot because it was a hell of a show. But, I was about to say the same thing. That, that's saying a lot coming from both of us who already praised the show before it even came on. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, I, I think obviously you still came out side. This likely means he's going to have to relinquish that TNT championship. And the question becomes, you know, like, who gets it? Because uh, recovery time for this, it, obviously he, he said he doesn't know, but... It's like likely going to be multiple months. I think like the the, the shortest amount of time like you probably come back is like four months, which means well past but all in. So we're not going to get Adam Copeland at all in, which would be which is unfortunate. But 
Right, right. The tibia fracture. So the 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 good thing is it's a tibia. It's not the the hardest bone in your body, which is the fibula. If you break that, that you you're hurt. Like if you break that, the bone in your thigh. If you break that, you're hurt. Like the I, a lot of people don't understand how much pressure you have to put on that to break. Um, but tib <laughs> tib fractures. Tip fib fractures are normally something that is unfortunate, of course, but it's not as tedious as a fibula uh, fracture, of course. But being so, his age, his his healing process is probably going to be a little more tedious. That's for sure. Um, I guess the, the other question is like for AEW, man. Like they were they were just about to, it seems, get this. Adam Copeland, Christian Cage thing going, like maybe yeah. working them back together. They bring in Gangrel, who does this amazing spot where he comes up from the ring. And Dude. by the way, WWE, <laughs> uh, I, we, we got to talk about this because WWE uh, allegedly told Adam Copeland, he's, he revealed this in an interview with Chris Van Fleet recently, that he pitched Gangrel, like doing a mania entrance with him. Mm -hmm. And basically he was told that well no one remembers him no one remembers that i will say there were about uh, a couple thousand people at the mgm grand garden arena who may disagree because they lost their minds when gangrel came out 